guys this is rocky days and we are back with another tutorial so i'll talk about uh, rgb and rgb a filters today uh, this might be pretty intuitive already because uh, rgb stands for red green and blue so rgb a stands for red green red green and blue and alpha alpha being the transparency channel so anyways uh, these filters can be applied in the similar fashion that we have been applying in the past few videos so i'll show you quickly how to do that uh, with the rgb filter right now so as usual we create the cache uh, we build the cache over here all right after that you invoke uh, the function that will bring the filters outside and choose the filter that you would like to bring through the arguments and over here i apply uh, convo.filters.rgb and rgb should be in caps and after that you have circle dot yeah, and you can start off with whatever uh, command you wish to use so let's see what happens if i run this all right uh, so as you can see it has uh, completely gone to black that is because it is assuming that we've already uh, applied the colors and if we do not apply any colors it chooses all the values for r and g and d as zero so what you need to do is you have to fill for each and every color over here so what we do is that you uh, choose a uh, circle dot red as 100 or oh, all right to 256 let's see what happens all right so as you can see when i choose the circles color as 256 which is the uh, biggest which is the extreme most value or probably it is 255 because we have 255 colors but we can choose from 0 to 255 so it makes 256 anyways uh, so similarly when you have uh, blue uh, as 0 you see that uh, the uh, green is zero as well and that is because we have not specified anything over here but you can see that it is uh, it is highly reddish in color and it has filled up the whole element with red so that is how you can tweak with uh, several variables and you can work around with various colors and right now if i fill in this with 255 as well we get a purplish uh, what do you call this magenta color and that is because of the interaction of red blue and uh, no green. I'm sorry. It is interaction of red and blue. Similarly, you can give green, and once you leave it out in the open, it doesn't. Uh, it, give, it takes zero as the value. So I'll tweak this as the, uh, 100, and I'll give this as 240. Let's see what happens. Alright. So as you can see, the color has changed, and if I remove the red and reduce it to 10, you can see that green is dominating the picture over here. And this is a simple way how you can tweak the colors of your elements. And you don't have to worry about whatever the element you have been given or whatever you have fed in this whole uh, piece of code. And if someone else has written this for you, it is not a big problem. You can change the canvas or you can change the colors uh, uh, of the circle over here. And similarly, you can work around with various other options by RGBA. Of course, all of them are almost similar. So you have circle.cache first and then you give a circle.filters in which you bring in the filters that you would like to bring in. So I would uh, bring bring out circle dot, uh, I'm sorry, uh, bring out convo dot filters dot rgpa and once I apply that as you can see it is black in color because we have not yet filled any colors. So one uh, extension of RGBA is that uh, which is not present in RGB is the A channel which is transparency channel. So the alpha can be talked about uh, in the you can bring out alpha over here and give it a value of 0.5 and let's see what happens. Alright so as you can see that uh, the original color is coming out a bit and if we give the value of alpha as 1 we get no nothing over here. So as soon as we decrease the alpha to zero we see that the original color is coming out so that is how alpha channel works guys and this is how it has been masking our original color now in in addition to alpha you can give the usual green red and blue so if i give 100 over here and but if i do not apply alpha to be one no change happens because that is because transparency is being uh, uh, changed by the alpha channel so we have to take care of it and if I give it a 0.4 we can see that a nice interaction is happening with the original color as well as the green that I have just added so if I change it to 256 let's see what happens so 
Spotify. Right, so as you can see, we are getting a certain uh, mixture of both the colors, and this is what happens when you play around with a lot of them. So I would suggest that you go around, uh, you go ahead and uh, sit on uh, JS Fiddle and start experimenting with these, so that you can understand these much better. All right, guys, this was my tutorial on RGB and RGBA filters. Hope you had uh, fun as well as hope you uh, learned a lot and. Uh, so uh, please share my videos, like and subscribe to them as well as tell your friends about it so that they can learn about these uh, amazing things as well. Alright guys, this is Rocky TV signing off and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.